what ha what you've accomplished now um, in how many years of coaching to, right. to get the big three, 300? Yeah, it's very, very special. I mean, I was, I believe at the time, the youngest coach ever to win 100 games because I won my 100th game, I think it was 26 or 27. Most guys aren't even coaches until they're like 20, and they don't keep a record like that. It was just I was blessed with some really good players at Belmont. And then I thought it was done. I came here, had absolutely no intentions of being a coach again, and to come back under these circumstances and to not only have the experience with the kids, but to win a sectional a couple of years ago with Jordan on the team and also have Bill on the team as an assistant coach, just been a glorious experience. What, what were your thoughts uh, leading up to tonight and being able to maybe put that, finally solidify 300? You know, I think a lot of people have thought about it a lot more than I have. I'm so focused on trying to get us ready for the sectional or trying to get us ready for conference championships. You know, we've been out of school for so long. We had like a 16-week Christmas break. It was incredible. <laughs> and I came back today. I actually had some people talk to me about it, talking about, hey, coach, have you got the 300 yet? How many games in a row have you lost? That kind of stuff. It hasn't been on my mind much, but obviously so many people have asked me about it. It's obviously a part of the whole thing. But I'm just so proud of all of the players I've been associated with, but mainly Coach Barker and the experience that we started here. Because if it wasn't for him and what he did at Bluffton, none of this would have ever happened. Yeah. You know, you're – yeah, you're, here you are, uh, start out, and for nine years, you're on the sidelines Absolutely. as a defensive specialist. Well, tell me what. Uh, but uh, then... Uh, crowd then control. You, crowd control, yeah. But then you come in, and um, with where does this game stand in that 300? It, it's just hard because a 300th win is just accumulation of win after win after win by player after player after player. And it's just not that particular game. It's just right now when I'm talking to you, I'm thinking about all these guys that played for me, all these guys that were just special, special yeah. people in my life. Now I get to share it with Grant and with a tremendous coaching staff, Mark Cribble, Bill, my own son, and Brett Bothus. But also it's a tremendous experience to think about right now all those other guys that are now fathers and doctors and lawyers that shared in that. Uh, and it's more special, and I thought Bill did a great job in the locker room because I thought I was done at like 2 and 9. I had no intentions ever of coaching again. I loved coaching with Wayne. It was a great way for me to end my career and just move on to the next step. And now to come back, and I was told Lisa I wasn't sure I wanted to do it again, but it's even been more fulfilling the second time around. Yeah. Well, you go on to uh, Thursday night now and – Get a, a, a get a night of preparation and right. and that's cool because this this group deserves it. I mean they really do. They've been a part of our success. Mike Pearson has won sectionals and two conference championships, and now we're one of four teams. And I think most people would flip a coin with those four teams. Mm -hmm. And to think that we're you know live to fight another day is great.